Hello everyone, today um, I'm back yet with another repair. I was uh, a little bit busy last week, so we have a ThinkPad today for repair. Um, the computer is working just fine, but the client set is not charging. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how we can uh, fix this computer and what actually is the issue so uh, this will be like an over voice because uh, when I shoot a video I was uh, I, I completely forgot to un unmute the microphone and I, I record the full video without uh, any sounds so yeah um, as you can see I just opened the, um, the computer and always, for safety reasons, I'm taking out the battery or I disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Now the connector is located on the right side and um, we'll see in a couple of seconds what actually is the issue. And here we have the charging port, this is USB-C charging port on this computer and I'm going to use a tweezer and check the pins as as you will see, the pins are not soldered anymore to the pads, so faulty connections. So there are many, many, many pins which are not soldered anymore. I believe this is due to the fact of uh, mechanical stress or just simply a factory. They didn't use a lot of solder, the solder joints, they were weak, and the connector got uh, desoldered or ripped off the board. In order to perform this repair, uh, we need to remove completely the motherboard. Um, as you can see, uh, there are two ribbon cables behind the motherboard for the trackpad and the keyboard itself. You just uh, pop off the, the flex cables and uh, that's it. Uh, what you see here is the back of the motherboard. Uh, there are a lot of small SMD components and uh, I see. And I was just wondering how I will perform this uh, repair. I mean, uh, from which side I will heat up the charging port from below or from the top. So on both sides, uh, there are a lot, a lot of components. So we need to pay real attention to those components and not to blow them out from the board and I just uh, use uh, 370 degrees I believe it was like uh, 100 air pressure and I went from the top indeed uh, it was very weird that the plastic started melting a little bit but not too, too, not too serious it was very quick and nothing was damaged during the removal. Next uh, I went uh, and I uh, prepped the pads, I clean, I thin the pads. As, uh, as you can see the pads, they are kind of darkish color, they are kind of oxidized or I don't know. So look a fresh uh, solder how shiny bright it is and clean and then um, yeah I will um, very soon I will wick the the solder which is uh, a mix with the new one with the old one because I would like to have like a little fresh solder joints on the board as we always do, um, we give a warranty to our repairs. So um, uh, the repair needs to be a high quality repair. A little bit of cleanup with some 99% uh, uh, IPA on both sides because uh, I'm using a very tacky um, flux and is very sticky and is going uh, away very 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 hard so we need to 
to clean uh, the area. So when no fresh uh, solder, of course uh, there's a fresh uh, flux to help with the, with the adhesion and to avoid the bridging in between the pads. Now um, what I do always I'm um, cleaning uh, and thinning the pins of the USB-C because uh, to be honest with you the the way it looks uh, yeah is disgusting I don't know how those solder joints hold that much time but anyway I thin the pads add a little bit of fresh of fresh solder on on the on, on the pins so now is uh, the time to put back the the USB C charging port and resolder to the motherboard. Um, yeah, took a, as a solder I use is around two hundred degrees melting point. Yeah, it was very quick, and then um, just a kind of a layer of. Uh, not protection, but just to be sure that my uh, my solder joints are uh, yeah very good. I just added a little bit of uh, finishing touches with uh, with my uh, solder iron on the pins. Yeah, only the external external pins, but because the internal pins I cannot reach them. Uh, those ones, uh, yeah, I I believe they're. Okay, I struggled with two pins, which they were kind of, I don't know, very annoying and I had a very hard time to solder the pin to the pad and what I did, I just scraped a little bit the um, solder mask on that uh, line to get a little bit of uh, space and um, like a, to create a, like a space where my, where I put my a solder tip to be able to transfer the heat and be able to do a proper solder joint and now uh, I went uh, ahead and uh, soldered the ground the the body of the USB-C and um, I used like a very fine tip for this uh, for this and I struggle a little bit uh, because uh, the motherboard was taking the heat very quickly but finally I managed I was uh, too lazy to replace the pin the pin I mean the the tip it was uh, I think it was one o'clock in the morning when I did this repair and I was very very tired and I really wanted to do this repair and yeah go to sleep um, what can I say everything went just fine here i just uh, did like a last cleaning a very thorough cleaning just to be sure uh, the board is back in shape and nice and clean as i like and of course a visual inspection i checked with my digital multimeter that there is no short between the plus and the ground everything is just fine and uh, uh, yeah, we will see in a couple of seconds uh, on the left screen side uh, on my uh, USB-C meter you will see that um, the board is taking power the motherboard is coming on as you, the fan is start spinning and uh, yeah, here I dry the board to be able to power on <clears throat> so uh, yeah i'm very happy everything went just fine yeah the pins everything looks good the usb-c is well attached to the board it's not moving i was thinking to add a little bit of hot glue just to you know glue it in place even better but i don't think it's uh, necessary yeah a lot of uh, SMDs in that spot, in that area, a lot of data filters, small uh, capacitors. And as you can uh, hear, we have um, 
meat checking um, again uh, the USB the solder joints and everything and then I will just uh, hook up to power the motherboard I don't know if you can see in the on the left side screen the upper left side screen uh, the small um, window of my uh, USB C meter but hopefully on a big screen you will be able to see the power consumption and the voltage yeah um, uh, I had this kind of uh, I'm going back a little like a small feedback for you I had a couple of these models with the same issue the the, the Novo ThinkPad it seems like it's like a common problem it's like a plague for them everything is working just fine but the, the USB-C uh, charging port uh, is getting uh, unsoldered I don't know why but uh, yeah it's not like I had only one or two in the past year I repaired like more than five or six of them and it seems like it's kept coming yeah I put the board back I will hook the motherboard to the power and um, putting everything together the Wi-Fi cables the screen cable SSD screws battery and you will see very soon the orange light that's great and the fan will start spinning or if it's already spinning I think yeah the fan is spinning and on the left side you can see the power consumption and the voltage so the PD control is working I have orange light the motherboard is working is on so it's a successful repair for this um, yeah um, I hope that uh, you enjoy um, and uh, what can I say thank you for being here and uh, see you on, on the next next one cheers <laughs>